Dave Daly right here on the Muskegon Channel. I'm Andy O'Reilly. There's Dave Cackley. Welcome to Tuesday, right? Yeah. Everybody's excited about Tuesday. We were mm-hmm. talking about Dave's satin jacket in the in the kindergarten I, back then. I had a, yes. Well, first we were talking about the Muppets for some Muppets, you got Fozzie, the Fozzie Bear. Bear. I got, my, I got a new Fozzie Bear Fozzie shirt. Bear. I like Fozzie. You know, not a lot of fifty-four-year-old men running around with Fozzie Bear T-shirts. You're a trendsetter. They're, they're certainly not. And you know what? I'm going to say you. something about that right now. There should be more men running yes. around with Fozzie Bear T-shirts. One hundred percent. Especially right. those guys I'm... who show up every morning and do a do a broadcast like we do. At little, it's like what what shirts Andy going to have on today? Is it going to be the mm-hmm. Maximum Overdrive shirt? Is it going to be a Kiss shirt? Oh, it's a new Fozzie yeah, Bear shirt. Over- you got a maximum overdrive? Yeah. I didn't know you had one of those. That's an underrated Stephen King book that became a movie. I've got the, the whole truck Estevez. and everything on it. And oh, it, that was, yeah. Oh, it's cool. Yeah. So, so I, that's I, kind I of the fun thing I do one. for the, the, the show. That's why you see mm-hmm. different shirts. Well, that's a, yeah. Whereas that's, that's somebody else on the show uh, goes to the laundry basket where somebody else is selling their used clothes for $3 a piece, and he gets those. So. This was, this is, this, well, it's old now, but I bought this new. I got another white T-shirt that I, or T-shirt, another white dress shirt that I just wore yesterday. Yeah. Uh, not to be confused with this one, so you don't think I'm wearing the same shirt two days in a row. Right. But getting back to the topic at hand, because we were talking about uh, Muppets. Are we doing Muppets? Okay, brought, Muppets. Yeah, well, yeah, well, yeah, because I know you have short-term memory loss, as do I, so we forget what we're talking about from time to time. But I brought up Scooter, and I like Good. Scooter's satin jacket. And then you made a reference to Liberace toward me. I did you know, what? Inferring, inferring something that is not true. No. And then I said, no. Then I brought up the fact that I had this really cool satin jacket when I was five years old in kindergarten. And this girl, Sarah, used to give me a kiss on the cheek every day when I got off Isn't school. Isn't that nice? Really How sweet. Really sweet little memory for me. Yeah. Well, it's wonderful. You know? Uh, you know, and... And then I, you have to be all live Liberace, Liberace. You don't have to take it that way. What? What? I didn't take it any. I'm just oh, like you know. Clearly you, not, because here we are. With you're you. shitting on a sweet childhood memory of mine. Oh and, and God! And turning it into, into something formerly <laughs> verboten. Okay, there you go. I need to get upsetting. some violin music here. I, so yeah, I deserve that. it right violin now. Everybody. All these these vicious attacks. These verbal assaults you're <laughs> levying on me this early in the week. Oh, you poor thing. I feel uh, you're, yeah, it's upsetting. You don't understand. You don't understand, man. I know. I, I know. I come off. You know. As, oh, I do understand. Me, cool, and, and, whatever. No, but, I hurt. I I'll have tell feelings. You what, here's I'm what I'm gonna I bleed. Do. I'm going to be the bigger man. Okay, I'm going to apologize to my butt hurt friend Dave, <laughs> and I'm going to stand here corrected, and I'm going to tell you. That should you need a loving embrace at any time? Uh, no, I'm no, I can't. No, I first of all, I don't want your hugs. Oh, I don't want your see, man there, hugs. there you go. No. I, what, what do you want out of me today? Do you want the fun? I don't want any, let's I have a good want, time want, thing, or do you want the caring, I, I, loving Andy I, who's I'm ready to fix everything. you? Or I can is, turn into any skid. Is there something Play a little hard. deeper today, Dave, that you need nothing. to talk about that we can Absolutely resolve nothing. right here? How can Zero. I help fix you? Zero what can I do to help your to help bridge your mental gap? To whatever's hurting you today. What is it, Nothing Dave? Nothing is hurting me. Deep I'm, down, I'm Dave. I'm feeling good. There's deep nothing down, deep Dave. down. No. Dave, tell me how you There's feel. nothing. Tell me what There's you zero. feel. I feel, I feel nothing right now. I'm, I'm just nothing. You're comfortably numb. Pure vanilla. Comfortably numb. Yeah. Yes. Very much so. there's so. an addiction problem. Okay. No. <laughs> Let's talk about that. Mentally. Mentally. No. No, I did have all, although I did go... Uh, to the local uh, watering hole, and I had a, a couple of uh, vodka waters. And when I say a couple, three. I had that three. was yesterday. That was yesterday. And for dinner, and this was, and I ate, ate it at, at the bar. I had a uh, a hot fudge brownie with vanilla ice cream. I ate that at like three in the afternoon. That was the last thing I had to consume all day. Okay. It was a so hot fudge brownie with vanilla let's, ice let's cream roll back. and three vodka let's, waters. Let's roll back over a couple of days here. Go ahead. Three vodka and waters yesterday. Mm-hmm. Over the weekend, if I'm not mistaken, I saw another alcoholic beverage being celebrated yes. on the Facebook page. That was the Friday. That was on a Friday or a Saturday. I can't remember. Oh, I was blackouts. Just too, no, I was too, okay. So that was five drinks over the course of four days. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. So five drinks in four days does not an alcoholic make. Dave? Yes. 
Can you quit any time? One hundred, dude. I quit all the time. I don't have anything so today, tomorrow. Denial or... is the first sign of a problem. Or it's also uh, the first sign that somebody is telling you the. I'm just truth. saying. I'm not pushing any agenda. Mm -hmm. I'm not here to, to tell you how to live your life. I'm just saying that when you're ready, there's Thank a way you. out. And I appreciate that. I'm the gatekeeper. I know. I understand. It's okay. Much appreciated. If you right. if you need to get to Fat Tony's bar and bum <laughs> tussle by three o'clock every day, we can fix that. I'd like a Nikolai vodka on the rocks, please, and no. splash water no. on top of it. Absolute, absolute I'm water. I'm just saying. I'm just with saying, a glass of water. I can help you turn into this skid. If you take I my hand. Take, I, Dave, dude, take I, my Look, hand. Look, yeah, I'm take my fine. Hand. Reach out to me. Reach out. Hold my hand. Let's do this together. Reach out. Come on. You know what is it, interesting? Because we got an old mutual friend of ours, uh, Jennifer Pasqua, who uh, has got a little uh, birthday thing I'm going to try to get to uh, later this week. And the only time I've ever drank to the point where I didn't remember what happened. Actually, there was one other time. But this was this goes back like. I don't know. Max, I think Max was a baby. Like it was just, and this was my first time out after Max was born and it yep. was around her. Uh, yeah, it was her birthday. And I do not, I, I do not remember a good chunk of that evening. There's been a I ended up of... in my office. I ended up in my office yep. in the bathroom and I couldn't get out like the lights. Cause it, they had those motion sensor lights and they would, they, cause I evidently wasn't moving enough. So they went off and I couldn't find my way out of the bathroom <laughs> for like five minutes. I like it when you come to Muskegon and get so smashed, you can't find your way back to the only hotel no. on the street. Okay, first of all, okay, again, that was another, that, you're going back in. <laughs> these are isolated. These are not daily or weekly occurrences. These are isolated individual right. happenings. And, you know. The, hey, there's the, nothing to the, worry about, the, man. The handful of times that I overindulge. It happens. Because I'm an all things in moderation sort of fella. I used, those were, I used to indulge happens. occasionally myself. I got no. past that. No, you overindulge. That's where it becomes a problem. If you well, just, yeah. you know, have a couple. That's cool. There you go. It's all good. You can do some news today? Yeah, let's get into it. Or you or you continue can... to bury your hidden problems. Yeah. Okay, there we go. Right, just whatever, whatever's bothering you, no, man. We're done. We're, done. We're, we're done with my non-issues. How's that? <laughs> all right. Congressional negotiators have agreed on a bill designed to improve tra air travel safety. The bill will increase the number of air traffic controllers. It will also require the FAA to use technology designed to prevent collisions between between uh, planes on runways. Now, is that something people really worry about? Do you worry that when you get when you're on a plane that you're going to collide with another plane on a runway? And if you do, mm. uh, you're worried about the plane crashing. Is irrational a fear as that is because it's the you know, safest way to travel? Yeah. You don't worry about runway collisions. I, I don't, don't know that I've ever heard of one of those. What I worry about is the potential stroke if I get my flight canceled at the end of a certain flight. Uh, okay. Like the last time I was on an airplane. Mm -hmm. Um, I literally cannot put to words how pissed off I was um, when we landed in Chicago and they said, well, your flight's canceled. Sorry, you're screwed. I, I have never been, uh, let's see. It's tough to come up with a time that I've been angrier. I, I, and I, this doesn't happen to me all the time. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to think about what happens to people that fly all the time for a living and get their flights canceled. Cindy's been Shanghai three times overnight on uh, late flights coming back from seattle dropping off grandkids literally stuck in the airport system for 24 hours that's stupid we get canceled on our way back from chicago at the last second no way to get back hey we'll put you in a hotel on the other side of town we'll do this blah 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 mm -hmm. i just boiled i mean i shot through the roof my head hurt i felt like i was in the first three songs of a slayer concert mentally so no, I don't care if they hit each other on the runway. And if they do, what are you going to fender bender? Big deal. Pilots get out and look at it. They're like, eh, don't bother the insurance company. It's 
Go. This is this is the difference between you now and what I was like back probably early two thousands when I when I would fly occasionally. I haven't flown since seriously. It's been like twenty years since I've been on a plane, but um, I would try to get bumped. Oh yeah. I'm like I want the extra. You you try to get bumped. Free, like free and I actually took I well. I, I got initially bumped, and then they're like, oh, we, we, we got a seat for you in first class. Ooh. So that was even better. That was yeah. like, you, you, fly, you fly, you're like, oh, my God, this is how the other, it was so awesome. Let me tell you this, though. The difference between flying first class and flying, like, coach is Cattle. just, good yeah. Lord. I'll tell you this, though. There's a big difference between a bump, mm-hmm. and it's 1030 at night. You're screwed. Right. Okay. Yeah, there's a big, big like, difference. Yeah. Hey, we're gonna bump like, you for an hour and put you in first class. I'm all yeah. about it, right? Or if you, or if you got there like if it wasn't that late a flight and it was earlier on in the day and maybe you had more energy and wanted to do stuff, and they said, right. "Oh, we're gonna have to bump you," and then you got the whole day, and yep. then you get a free hotel, and then you yep. fly out the next day. Yep. Yeah, I, yeah, that would be better. Yeah, hey, right. I'm all what about else? mooching like that. There you go. Hey. What else is going on? Pop superstar Taylor Swift's boyfriend just signed a lucrative deal, making him the highest paid tight end in the National Football League. Travis Kelsey's $34.25 million extension runs through 2027. That comes out to a cool 17.125 mil a year, to which uh, Taylor replied, 34 million. That's cute. I'm a billionaire. I got that much in, I got that much in the cushions of my couch, pretty boy. <laughs> Good. I wonder how. I mean, I know Tra. I, I don't like they're the it power couple and everything. But Travis Kelsey, there's got to be a little. At some point, something's gonna something's gonna happen. It's like because he's gonna be taking. You know, he's got to be taking shit from all his oh, teammates. Why would he? A little, uh, oh, in a football in, in a football locker room. I'm not talking about the stuff we don't hear. The stuff we don't see. They're giving. Oh yeah. So, so how much? Because how, you. At some point, she's going to be like giving him all an allowance. It's like, okay, here's fifty mil, here's Dude. thirty mil. Just, just keep it. You know, it, I, I'm just, I'll be I, fascinated. The, honestly, the, the I song, think how fast that song goes to number one when this thing implodes. I and she writes a song about it. I honestly think that if it, it, anybody who's dating Taylor Swift, I think all the other guys around him are standing there going like. They're almost like minions going, whoa. No, they're not. <laughs> Unless they're teenage girls, they're not. I'm sorry. Uh, what else is going on? This Okay. Law enforcement officers, this is interesting. Across the state are cracking down on distracted driving. Operation Ghost Rider started yesterday. Unmarked spotter vehicles Uh-oh. will be looking for distracted drivers. Uh, they will then radar fully marked law enforcement units uh, to initiate a stop uh, violators face a hundred dollar fine i just don't know how you're i mean let's say you spot somebody you don't necessarily know like were they hitting something on the radio where that you don't i mean unless you see them with the phone up here this is why I, I tell everybody keep it on your lap if you don't have it on your dashboard which Evidently, you're not even supposed to use it if it's on your dashboard quicker than to tap it or something. I mean, I don't know. It's just, it feels like this is going to be a, still a hard thing to prove. The first time I got pulled over, I remember getting pulled over at a headlight out or something. And the distracted driving thing, it was before this. It was before the latest one um, where you can't hold it anywhere right. at all. Uh, I said, how easy is this um, How or how hard is it to you know, get somebody. And the officer point blank told me, it's, it's virtually impossible. Right. We can't really tell. We can't really tell what you're doing. Here's, we really here's can't. my question. We, we can, go ahead. Here's my question about distracted driving. You get your phone, which mm-hmm. is taking your eyes and your hands off the wheel. Yeah, so it's not that. a good idea to it's do not it. a good idea. No. Uh, am I guilty of it? Yes. Yes. Um, But let's look at distra- distracted driving and what it really could be. How about a whopper? Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's distracted I, I, driving. Yeah. Yeah. You, you ever tried to keep a whopper? You can still do that. Yeah, they do that, right? That's that's distracted driving. How about that's this? Dangerous. How about this? A live animal in your lap. Yeah, a Dude, dog. Yeah, a dog. That, man, everybody travels with their pets now. Your your dog in your lap while you're driving a car is to me oh, wait, one of the riskiest things I see more. on the road. I I'm, I'm that's a live animal. You don't know how yeah. that thing's going to react. 
Mm -hmm. Um, that that's distracted driving. One hundred percent. I mean, I get it that the law has to be on the books, because let's say you're driving along, texting your friend or sending mm -hmm. yeah, pictures of your wiener to whoever you want to send. You know, <laughs> next thing you know, you kill a busload of nuns. Dude, <laughs> you got to go to jail. I get it. it we got to have that law. But seriously, <sighs> your miniature collie in your lap is more distracting than I, you hitting yeah. Y on a phone. And getting back to the eating thing. Yeah. I still remember, I think I was 17 years old. I was going to play in a Gus Macker basketball tournament. I was really, really hungry. And the in game Belding? Until like, in, uh, yeah, it was Belding uh, back in the day. So, and I had to, and I was driving to it. And the, our game wasn't until like, I think noon or one. And this was like 10. I, I don't remember why I had to get there that early. But I was hungry. So I stopped at McDonald's and got hot cakes and sausage. And was eating a hot cakes and sausage with a fork as I'm driving. Which and then the traffic 100%, back, yeah. then the traffic backs up on M57. Oh, there you go. And then yeah. you got everybody I'm driving in the you. ditch to get to their game early. And then, yeah. oh, oh, my God. Oh, God I, I God. went to the no, Macker it, one time. I played in the Macker one time. We lost in the first game. I had to sit in Belding with no money, no shade, oh, no yeah. nothing for six, seven oh, God, hours. Oh, because it was hot before it was you played awful. the second game. Yeah. What a miserable, oh, man. what a miserable, awful memory that was. Well, so I had I had success. I, I had a couple of second place trophies there. One, oh, in, one in Belden, one went up to Gaylord. Wow. And uh, that was we, we had to play all the games because it got rained out like Friday and Saturday. So we played like eight games or seven. No, it was like six games on Sunday. No, yeah. that was that was crazy town. Yeah. But yeah, yeah. Distracted driving. Be on the lookout They're They're coming for you. Sports Tigers. Uh, rained out. Cubs win. Cubs win. Cubs win. They beat the Mets three to one. That's sports. Here comes Jeopardy in his actor moguls again for six hundred. Um, mm -hmm. You really came through yesterday. I was impressed. I did. Um, today is going to be a little tougher. Okay. All right. Nothing little about this actress talent. She was star and executive producer of Big Little Lies and Little Fires Everywhere. She's an actress. In a, I feel like I know this one. I think you don't have a clue. This is, this is going to be wrong. It can't yeah. be her. It can't be her. Tomorrow's a free. I don't know why. Okay. Yeah. But God, no, I can't. I can't say her name. I can't. I, it can. doesn't make. No, I can't. I can't say, say her it. name. Say I can't. I, I don't think it. it's her. I can't say it because it's not her. It's somebody. It's a. She's not a mogul, though, either. But this woman could be. I'm every woman. Do, 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 no. do. Your time's up, sir. I'm a Scarlett Johansson. Can't Scarlett be Johansson. Is wrong. That's wrong. Yes. That's, that's 100% that is exactly wrong. wrong. It's 57. Um, Who was it? In the hole. Let's shh, quiet. I'm doing math. Okay. Oh, okay. Catch me a moment. Negative. It would be Reese Witherspoon, sir. Reese Witherspoon. Okay. Oh, yeah, that Reese makes more Reese Witherspoon. Sense. Yeah, I would have known that, but I didn't. So yeah, what? I like I like Reese. I like Reese Witherspoon too. There I like go. Scarlett Johansson. I like Taylor mm -hmm. Swift. I like all kinds of things. I say I like. Man, there you go. I like too. when the dog bites, okay. when the bee stings, when I'm feeling mm -hmm. sad. Mm -hmm. These are a few of my favorite things. Okay. Good and for I you. I don't feel. Sing along with me. So no. bad. I don't even know what you, I don't, like, were you singing I'm Every Woman? No, I was and then Sound of Music became, there. I was just kind of. Oh, Sound of Music. So that, oh, sorry. I'm nice there for you today, but. Uh, that was, that was, uh, that was sweet. Sorry. I, I angry, no. bitter undertoes you've got No today. anger. No oh, anger. clearly no not. Okay, great. Have yourself a good Tuesday. We'll see you back here. See ya. Welcome back, Muskegon. Sunshine will return today, but temperatures will be a little bit cooler, so let's take a look at your forecast. Brought to you by Trendy Health. Like I said, we are expecting mostly sunny skies for your Tuesday, but temperatures will be on the cooler side, around 60 degrees, but we'll stay in the 60s and the 70s for the rest of the week. By Thursday, we might even hit 80 degrees, which would be the warmest day so far this year. 
And then rain will be likely on Friday as well. Like I said, today will be a little bit cooler than it has been, especially closer to Lake Michigan. Temperatures will probably be in the upper 50s. Away from the lake, they'll be around 60 to 61, with the Ravana being the warmer spot. So we're expecting mostly sunny skies today with a high around 60. Winds will be coming off of the lake as well, which will help to keep us cooler with a low of 50 degrees with mostly clear skies continuing. Wednesday and Thursday do have a very, very small chance of rain. I'm keeping it dry as of now, but it's not impossible a stray shower can move through. But as of now, it's just going to be a warming trend going from 60 to 68 all the way to 78 on Thursday. And then rain showers will be likely on Friday once a cold front moves through, but really that cold front won't bring that much colder behind that with temperatures likely staying around 70. And that is your Tuesday forecast brought to you by Trinity Health on the Muskegon Channel. And I'm Coleman's Weather and have a great day.